now it's been a big deal Nokia's hardware for uh, Android apps and a Windows phone feel as the culmination of things that leads to the Nokia the company's first Android device something that we thought we'd never really see and the device was launched yesterday and is available in stores now in fact uh, Anand is here to tell us more about you know this new smartphone which has come out from Nokia and why are they shifting to this Android platform from what has essentially always been a Windows platform Ex exactly and I first of I'd say never say never because Nokia has come out with an Android phone and I think it's a great move on Nokia's part it makes perfect sense let me share some figures with you, with you to explain that India is the second largest smartphone market in uh, in the world after China and in 2014 we've seen over uh, we expect over 1 billion smartphones to be sold, out of which 225 million smartphones mm. are expect to be, expected to be sold only in India. 90% mm. of those smartphones will go to first-time buyers. That's mm. what reports suggest. Mm. So if you just take a look at those figures, it just goes on to show that Nokia needs to be here with a, with a cheap Android smartphone. But why have they taken so much time to enter this space? Well, uh, they have taken their time because they've been propagating the whole Windows phone platform. Mm -hmm. And if you just take a look at the figures, uh, Microsoft uh, has pretty much lost its market share. It's got it's some, standing somewhere at about 3.6%, whereas Android is at 81%. That's the market share. And if they want a piece of that pie, they have to join hands with Android, hmm. which is why. Okay, so you know, that um, definitely makes sense for Nokia, you're saying, but what are the features? You've got your hands on the phone. Well, it's a, it's a are very... Are you going to show it to us? <laughs> no, I don't have the phone on me, hmm. but I did manage to play with it uh, hmm. for a couple of hours yesterday. And essentially, it's a very basic phone. It's got a four-inch screen, a dual-core processor, 512 MB of RAM and a 3.15 megapixel camera, which is unheard of in today's, like three megapixels is nothing. So it's it's a very, it's got very meager specs, it's not, no wow factor around it. But the biggest uh, advantage that it has is it's got Nokia branding and it's at 8,600 rupees. What would you say this is for? Because you're saying at, you know, on one hand it's for the entry user, but on the other hand it has all these high features. Well, it's someone, it's for someone who's switching from a feature phone to a smartphone or a first time buyer. because. It's basically for someone who who's loyal to Nokia as a brand, who likes Nokia's design, mm. who wants an Android phone. Because understand, till now, Nokia smartphones, even though budget devices like the Lumia 520 and the 620 are doing well, uh, they are on Windows platform, which uh, the biggest shortcoming of that platform is the lack of apps. Mm. And this actually solves that. So in a way, uh, they've got a phone out there with Android, which has all the apps. It looks like Windows, and users will pick it up just for those apps and in a sense it might even cannibalize Nokia's own budget devices the mm. Lumia devices mm, we've seen that happening actually yeah. with a couple of other phones as well you know but uh, we've spoke with uh, viral Oza, the director of marketing for Nokia and he tells us that the reason really behind Nokia entering into this Android space here amount it runs all the Android apps and which is what you know consumers want but it doesn't stop there. It's not just about running Android apps. It's about giving them an experience or exposure to signature Nokia experiences like Mix Radio and, and Hear Maps and access to popular Microsoft services like Skype, OneDrive, Outlook. So what it really does is exposes them to what Nokia and Microsoft, the combine, is about so that over a period of time they get familiar with it and it becomes an upgrade path to Lumia. So Lumia continues to be our primary smartphone uh, range, but the X family acts as a feeder system into Lumia. It's a win-win situation for them. On one side, it could feed into the Lumia platform. On the other side, it could get even more popular. <laughs> and who knows, maybe the Nokia X platform could be the future for the brand.